So we've learnt to invent a how to sketch a part freehand. Sometimes we might have something specific in mind, for example this Batman logo here. So it'd make it easier for us to have this as a base that I can then trace using the sketch tools in Inventor to then extrude the shape and get it exactly how I need it. If we go back to Inventor, start our 2D sketch. Once inside your sketch, if you have a look up on the ribbon, you'll notice there's an insert option where we can add in a image. If you click on that and navigate to where you've saved your image, select it, click open, and then find a place to place it. In this case, we're going to need to move this image around so it's facing the right direction. So I'm not going to lock it into 00, I'm just going to click and place it to the right here. I can also place several more if I want to, but I don't need to in this case, so I'm just going to hit Escape. Now to get more specific placement of our image before we start actually drawing, we're going to use a few of these modified tools. The first one's going to be to rotate. So if you click the Rotate tool, you'll notice the first thing I need to do is select what I want to rotate. In this case, it'll be my drawing. I also need to choose the center point. So this is a point where this object will swivel. So I'm going to choose that bottom left corner. If I start moving my mouse, I get a little preview of what's going to happen. So I'm going to rotate that around until my degrees up here hits 270 and left click to place. Once that's complete, hit done. Now move your image a little bit closer to that origin point. The other thing is I want to get my dimension right before I start sketching. I know that I want my Batman symbol to be 100 millimeters wide, so using the dimension tool, I'm going to click the top edge of this drawing, and I'm going to drag that off. At the moment it's 76 millimeters, so I'll just type in 100, and hit enter, and it's going to scale that up to the size that I needed. Now I'm going to start using my sketch tools up here to trace over this image and put in the sketching where I need it. I'm going to use the arc tool for this part here. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and I've drawn half my Batman symbol. I'm pretty lucky in the image I've chosen that it's symmetrical, so both sides are the same. If I go ahead and open up my sketch over here, I can right click on my image that I added and uncheck visibility to hide it, and then you can see my sketch a little bit better. So to save myself a little bit of time, I'm just going to go ahead and use the line tool, and I'm going to draw a line up from the middle straight up to the top of my bat. I'll also come along and I'll trim this little extra bit of line out here. So now I have half of my bat symbol. What I can use here is the mirror pattern tool and I can select the sketches that I've already done and choose my mirror line which is that center line I drew, hit apply and that's going to create my complete bat symbol. Now it's just a matter of going ahead, finishing sketch, and using the extrude tool to extrude that up. And there we have it. There's my bat symbol, completely traced. No guesswork, because I had an image that I could use as reference to draw it out.